north of Australia and over twice the size of Spain, New Guinea is the tribal world's last frontier. The contact took days to establish. The Tulumbis first believed white men were living dead, but they finally accepted Dutia into their midst. In 1976, the Belgian anthropologist Jean-Pierre Dutilu discovered the unknown tribe called the Tulambis in Papua New Guinea. They had never seen a white man before in their lives and according to them, the white men were zombies, living dead. You can clearly see their astonishment and fear when they are offered a helping hand by Jean-Pierre. It was also alleged that this was the first time the group had seen white people. Philip has been on previous expeditions with me, and he knows these stone axes have deadly weapons. The footage reflects this, with the tribe gathering around and touching Dutilu's skin in awe and apprehension. Eventually, the filmmaker earns their trust, and he shakes hands with one of the group. After gifting him with a box of matches, this is a fascinating 15-minute video that shows a hunter-gatherer tribe in Papua New Guinea meeting. With people from the outside world for the first time, they are very cautious but also very curious about the man on the other side of the river. They eventually cross the river to meet Jean-Pierre Dutilou, the producer. When the men see Dutilou's clothing, they then look at the clothes they are wearing, as if for the first time, when they stroke Dutilus's hair, they prepared to believe their own eyes. The long, soft hair of the Caucasian is clearly another wonder of the world. Filmed in 1976. The black men have never seen modern civilization or any modern technology. First they approached the white men with caution, but they later on they became brave enough to interact with the crew. And it's obvious that it was their very first interaction with a white man. In his journal, Jean-Pierre Dutille writes, You know, it all happened this way, but I still cannot believe what we saw. I must continue my research and I will return to find out whether I was dreaming or not. The two Lambi are among the very last witnesses of our distant past. When the last tribe is contacted and moved from the Stone Age into the modern world, from being free and masters of their own destiny to being poor and at the lowest level of our Western society, it is a part of ourselves that will vanish forever.